Well, another day, another Karen video, and you know the drill. These nasty, entitled Karens are just everywhere, so it's hard to catch them in action. Today, we're having more Karens getting the karma they deserve, so make sure to sit back and enjoy the show. Let's start this list with a classic Karen. These kids are just having fun with their skateboards when a Karen suddenly chased them. Worst of all, she started grabbing one of them and even threatened them that she would call the cops. Next up, we have this neighbor, Karen, who didn't mind showing her aggressive side in front of her kid. When she was called out about it, she even got more furious. Thankfully, this guy handled the situation like a pro. Go ahead. You should care. I didn't tell you how to parent. I said shame on you for flipping off a neighbor in front of your son. That's all I said. Yes. You flip me off. Yeah. Okay. That's a big deal when mom is aggressive to a neighbor. This neighbor is aggressive. That neighbor is aggressive. So you all just got to just listen to me. Whatever. Here's what I got to say to you. Okay. Okay. That's okay. I'm not going to, I've already talked to Chuck, I've, I'm doing the loan for that uh, Washington County Sheriff, he already warned me about you guys, y'all went to his house, talked to him about me, whatever, but you know, Clay and Janelle, yeah, so here's the deal, get off my side of the property please, I'm asking you nice, I want to get on my tractor and you're in my way, and you're in my way, okay. Nothing. I'm asking you politely to, to move. Did you see that I just cleaned up a good majority of it? I do it every time, and that's why I got the cameras up there. Every time I do it. Because I was because I was mowing the lawn on Sunday. It's every three days. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead. It's all good. Okay. Well, hey, if I cared about what you guys thought, I'd listen to you. How do you think about that? Okay, good. Leave, leave me alone, please. That's all I ask. Leave me alone. This next Karen didn't mind him literally grabbing and screaming at a 10-year-old. I don't know why he's upset, but I'm pretty sure he can go to jail for his actions. Listen, mother <laughs> When you guys saw me, you no, took off. No, I just got there, man. Who is this? When, wait. Coming right up is this Karen who got pretty upset after she hit another car. Yep, you heard that right. These ladies were obviously parked where they were supposed to be until this Karen decided to back up and hit them. Surprisingly, this Karen was the one upset and even said she'll be calling the police. Yes, but you were no, so I'm not, close. I'm sorry, look, there's space no. here before my line. You are on your side, but the way I you parked was so close to my car. I didn't, look. You know what? Let's go get the video on the car. I mean, I'm not filing a report. I'm just scratching no, this off of my car because I don't know what this is. I never said I was filing a report. I never said I never said I was filing a report. I'm scratching whatever the f this is on my before, car. I'm scratching it off. So I before care. I said anything, didn't I say I'm moving my car because I my car know. is so close to yours that I don't, I don't want know, my car to hit your car. The thing is though, you're not supposed to like hit people's car. cars regardless. Like, Nobody's supposed so. to hit people's cars. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, and that's why I told you I'm moving back out because you're too close but to my still, car. I don't want to hit your car. I'm not talking to you. You were not here. It's my car though. So don't. Like that. It was just your attitude. Like attorney. you could have said sorry to me. Like instead you were like I trying to, to like justify. My son needs to say sorry to you because he's well, the one that. Well, I know that you could. Sorry. Don't talk about my son. I'll no, 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 don't, him don't, him. don't, don't, don't touch it. You're already going on YouTube, so just back up. Oh God, yeah. YouTube, great. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I give a shit. Right. Let me tell you, YouTube. You, you need to learn how to park your car next to people. 
when you're parking, the parking She's in the line. She had excuses from the beginning. I don't have excuses. I have the right. I was parked here 20, like 15 minutes before you got right. here. And then you parked on top of my car when there's I didn't park on top of your car. Completely clear off the car. You got her after us. Like, what the her. She got it after us and she's saying she like. I'm not going after nobody. There. No, you I'm not, you're you're like like attacking me. You're attacking I'm me. not attacking I'm sitting here scratching I'm your you're sorry. Sorry. Your mistakes you're off sorry. of my That's car it. and you're yelling at me. Can you apologize for parking? Then I'm not talking to you. There you go. You're going to have to respect you. That's how I feel. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sometimes logic doesn't work with Karen, and this lady is the perfect example of that. This guy was obviously upset after this Karen literally broke his mirror, but continues to deny it. $500 mirror, ma'am. I didn't touch your friggin' mirror. Yes, you did. It no, was... I didn't. Ma'am, I sat and watched you. I, I wouldn't. And you, and you kept trying to push it past. No, I didn't. Ma'am, I watched you. I went like this. Back up. Back up, please. I'm standing by my car. I'm you, gonna back up. You, um, just, you just came up to me. I went like this. You just back came, up. You just walked up to me. I went up to here. Ma'am, you just took my mirror off with your cart. I was sitting in the driver's seat. Look at the cart. It's the same exact height. I watched you. And I and then you came up to me. I by your mirror. I because you couldn't get by your mirror. Then you got stuck you on it. Over here? Because you got stuck on it, ma'am. I didn't get stuck. I didn't get stuck on it. I stopped. Right here. And, yeah. if, I did and if you would grab the cart, it is the exact height of where you got stuck on my mirror, man. It happened last week. It happened just now. No, I was didn't. I was sitting in my driver's seat. Man. This lady had the craziest Karen encounter. She was walking around looking for something in the group when this Karen approached her and asked her what she was doing. When she explained she was trying to find something, Karen immediately told her she looked suspicious. Okay, now looking at the ground is a no-no up on me and no, i'm asking you walking right in front of there looking down on the ground like you're looking for something searching for something uh you, this you, lady is coming up to me i don't know who she yeah, is come up to you what's the problem i want to know yeah i'm message. recording you because uh you're you acting belligerent and no, uh psychotic no ma'am i'm not doing that you the one walking up and down looking on the ground yeah so i can't do that ever around you because that's uh, wrong for you you know how crack people act is oh you got to be a crack addict to know how one acts, don't you? This is what I put up with all the time around here. Typical, right there. You move. You'll be surprised how entitled Karens can be. Just like how this guy literally banned a customer from a gasoline station because he didn't want to do his job. Holding me. I called I you an asshole. Yeah, you know what? Why don't you get a fucking dick, you pussy? What's your Mother problem? Listen, I you just are said my get problem. A, I just said Don't you, you couldn't ever see. come back to this store again. I just said, can't you see? I told I you, pump see. one diesel. But when I saw, I saw a black car right there. That's what I saw. But I said, pump I got one people diesel. in line. I said, it ain't pump my one job. Diesel. It ain't my job to you get the right said, pump. You could have said, it the ain't pump my job to diesel. get the right pump, is it? But it's you your could, job. But you can't see your job. And I said, no, pump it's your one job diesel, and you to get the right pump. Oh, it's not my. It's my it's job. It's your to know. job to tell me the right pump. Oh. It ain't my job. Okay, but I said diesel. Your but I said diesel. Yeah. Well, and pump one is not go diesel. Across the street and go somewhere else because you're banned from here. Oh, okay. Well, hey, guess what? I got that all on video, so your manager Good. will be Real happy to good. see it. Right? This Karen found her match when this lady, who was later named Zoe, basically ignored her rant and walked away from her. Karen did threaten Zoe about not getting a paycheck, but Zoe was obviously not bothered. You know what Karens are good at? Stereotyping. Just like how this Karen confronted these groups of teenage boys and told them what a real man should do. Oh, a world star. Are you kidding me? Oh, is it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's all he can do. Because you know what? Real men, real men, they're over there and they are balling. Really, really. And you got no skills and that's why you're out here? With your big <laughs> mouth. <laughs> This employee had enough of this Karen who keeps coming back and complaining about the most random thing. When she once again approached them to file another complaint, he told her, Congratulations! I think it's one of the sassiest things you can ever say to a Karen. Mode fully activated. What's your name? Josh. Joshua what? Josh what? Feldman. Feldman. I'm making a complaint about you. Okay, congratulations. Yeah, it will be congratulations. 
I think you guys know that what's worse than a Karen is a police Karen. I mean, look at this guy, trying to distance himself from a cop who was definitely power tripping just to get his way and arrest this guy without proper reason. Hostile to right now. Like no, not hostile at all. Follow my fingers, your eyes, your eyes on them. You're crazy, man. No, I'm a police. Why don't you back up and get on my space? So, just want to check, make sure that you're not breaking the law by eating under the influence of alcohol, public. I think you need to get out of my face and stop approaching me. So, based on some of your your symptoms that you're showing me, you can take your bullshit somewhere else. Stay away from me. Slurring your word in public, or you're unsteady on your gate. Uh, I'm concerned that you might be under the influence of alcohol, unable to take, take care of yourself. You're obviously concerned about a lot. You're making stops in unmarked cars. Uh, Do me a favor, keep your distance. So I'm going to detain you now at this point because I think that you might be intoxicated. You're not, you're not being rational. Stay away from me. You have no probable cause for anything. I'm allowed to hold a video camera. You are. Okay? But you're not so allowed stay to be drunk away from me. I'm not drunk in public, and you got no reason to think so. So get away from me. I do. Like I said, you're hostile. Get away from me. You're slowing your words a little bit. Get away from me. You get so steady, and you're actively addressing us. I'm not actively doing I was walking away when you started walking to me. So it's all on camera. If you, are, if you are able to walk away and make it home safely, you can do so. If you continue to stick around... Thank you for your permission. Then you will be arrested for being drunk public. I was already walking away when you pursued right, me. Have a nice day. You too. At this point, I guess skate parks are another place where Karens like to disturb the peace. Watch how this Karen literally sat in the middle of a ramp because she didn't like seeing kids skating. Well, guess what? You're in a skate park, which means they can skate however they like. They even do these tricks and jump over Karen, but she doesn't budge. Came to this skate park and had a woman sitting completely in the way. She refused to move after several attempts to make her understand that nobody can skate this way. So even the kids started trying to make her move. Then I had this idea, as she sat perfectly to try something, LOL. <coughs> Almost everybody loved it. And then I flipped to celebrate. <laughs> Guess what? She still didn't approve. Another day, another Karen who thinks she could stop anyone she doesn't recognize. This woman was entering her apartment when a Karen told them they can't just because she can't recognize their faces. I don't recognize these people. She don't recognize these black people. I don't recognize them and they're giving me basically a hard time and in my face. She, Cause she told me to leave. Yes, but I'm a homeowner and I don't recognize As am I, as am I. Yeah, the locked door. How do we get in the locked door? I don't know, they were here before I closed out. I was in school when they were coming out. And then we came back again. I have no idea. They were talking about rental property. I don't rent. I own. No. No. Cause she she doesn't own this property, so Karen can't ask me anything. I can ask. You, you can't ask me nothing. I have the same keys you have. I can get in and out my property when I feel like it. You don't own anything here. I'm in the building. Here's another Karen who didn't fancy seeing kids at a skate park. This girl was having the time of her life and minding her own business when the Karen started shouting at her because she didn't like the music she was playing. Ass, 
these kids were just playing around in front of their house when a Karen took the liberty to scold them because they were climbing a tree. Mind you, the tree belongs to them as well. When the kids tried to explain, Karen didn't like it and continued ranting away. Yeah, okay, here we go. That's her, the lady, the red jacket. It's, the tree is on his property. The, the, tr the tree is on his property. It, it is. It's, it's on my friend's property. Like right and there. follow for part three. It, it is. It's, it's on my friend's property. Right there. We're not jumping around and running on it. We're we're sitting on it. That's my personal, that's my information. Oh, that's your personal information? Yeah. How'd you like it if a random stranger came up to your kid and asked them where they lived? If you thought we were done with Karen's hating on skaters, then think again, because this guy was clearly upset after he saw a group of boys skating. Of course, just like the classic Karen that he is, he told them he'll call the cops if they don't stop. After watching this video, you'll be surprised how childish Karen's can be. I mean, this lady wrote Grow Up over wall art when she's literally acting like a six-year-old. Here's another Karen who obviously doesn't have much logic in her. She started arguing with this guy mainly because she can't get inside her car because she parked too close to the cars beside her. Take note, she didn't do a good job parking and just vented her incompetence to other drivers who were literally parked correctly. Have parked your car too close to mine. Oh, okay. Because I have to get in and out. We and can... I can't get in and out with this car being but here. But that's not my problem. I've parked how I should park. You haven't parked how you should park. Yeah, I'm, I've just got here and you're leaving. Legally, you are allowed to park in between the two lines. Yeah. And uh, actually, you're very almost illegal. Look, that tire is nearly oh. on this. Uh, 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 it's I am the line. well within it. Just, yeah, it's inside the line. Just. Yeah, but obviously my boot is also big, so when it opens Oh, up, yes, because you've got a big yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, I have got a big car, yeah. yeah you've got I've also got like a big, a big family. Mouse. I've also got a big family as well, yeah, so this is why I need a big car. I'm not I'm, I, to... I would not be surprised if you live alone on your own, because you've got oh. such a tiny little car. Yeah, if you, you don't, don't need to pull such a little lady, so, yeah. I would I, oh, I have a big car, Look, yeah. This car is okay. too bloody big. Please don't touch my car again. Oh, sorry, car. Please, stop touching my car. At the end of the day, yeah, I have parked how I should park. And you're coming out and saying, oh, I can't get in my car. That's not my problem. Get in your car and go away uh, at the end of the day. You want me, oh, your car's just attacked me. Did you see it? This it is, this actually is bumped into me. This is, this is ridiculous, This you know? is insane. You're, you're, you're arguing with me for no reason, and you're still touching my car. Please. Uh, excuse me, okay, is that better? Yeah, go on, go on. So, but what I'm saying to you, look, 
Can you please just comprehend you? You're arguing with me about me parking, da da da, but you can't park straight. The only reason why you can't get in your car is because if you park your car like that, you'd never have to open your door. If I park like that, I wouldn't even be able to get out of my car. How does that never make mind sense? into the car. How does that make sense? Because you can't, you can't, in Look, a place like this. The problem is, yeah, there is, there is, there is no designated spaces for cars this big. So I have to try and squeeze into a, a space for, for normal everyday cars. Yeah, of course it's um, yeah. the car park's fault, isn't it? Yeah. The thing, the the thing is, the thing is, made it big enough for you. Look, you don't need to be arrogant, yeah. What? Why are you, you expecting you, you, me you to say it to you? Huh? I'm very, very sorry that I parked. You don't need to say anything to me. You don't need, need to say anything. Just get in your car how? and stay quiet. How do, do I? How? How, how do I get into my car? Okay, I'll By open opening down, the door. You said, By opening I'll the door. open this door and yeah. get into my car. If I bump into your car, you told me to get into the car. You Coming up next, we have a Karen who didn't mind saying nasty words to a kid. Yes, like a 12-year-old boy who was just minding his business. I mean, can't she just go on with her walk without disturbing other people? What's your name? His name's Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. Does, does your parents know that you're running into people with a stupid scooter? You look like a on that scooter, by the way. And so is your earring. Your earring looks like an idiot. You might want to brace yourself for this one because Karen is crazy. This lady just wanted to drive away when a car that was parked literally in the middle of the road was blocking her. So she honks and tells them to move away, but turns out it's a Karen. As expected, Karen proceeds to argue with the lady and basically goes back and forth about how honking and yelling is illegal. She even called the cops when she could actually move the car and let the lady drive out. Call the police. You're threatening to call the police because I yelled at you because you're blocking me? That's illegal. Yelling is not illegal. Well, you're a master. Yelling is not illegal. Yell Yelling is not illegal. I'm not do I didn't touch you. You came up to my window after I beeped. You, you came up to yelling at me. It's not illegal to yell. Call the police. It's not illegal to yell. It's not a, no it's not. No, it is not. It is not illegal to yell. Move your car. That's illegal to block this. This is not a parking space. You came up to my window. I'm sitting in my vehicle. You came up to me. It's not illegal to yell to move your car. It is not illegal to yell to move your car. It's not illegal to yell to move your car or beat my horn because you came up to my window instead of moving the vehicle. I said, I yelled, hey, move your car. This isn't a parking spot. That's what I said. That's the truth. Move the fucking car. And yes, I am yelling. You came up to my window. Did I ever get out of my car? No, I did not. Call the police. You're friends with all the police, right? Okay, so you're threatening me because you're friends with all the police. Who did I threaten? Who did I threaten? So did I threaten her? Did I threaten her at all? I ask you guys to move. You are just, and she shouldn't have come up to my my via, my car. Then it, that's fine. Then move the car. All you have to do is let me out and move the vehicle. That's all you have to do. But she wants to be. I'm friends with all the police. Call the police. She told you to call the police on me for what? What? What law am I breaking? What law am I breaking? Exactly. Is he out, sir? Are you drunk right now? I'm drunk in the Holy Spirit because I don't Okay. Jesus. You are crazy. It's not illegal to yell. Tell her it's not illegal to yell. Exactly. Tell her. Tell her that you are nuts. Tell her. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about any of that. Move the car. Do you not realize that we could have been done and over with this? If she, if she would just stop and get in the vehicle and go, you have such an important art class to go to, just go to it. It is important. Okay, then go to it. How am I threatening your life? I have everything on video, lady. That's good. Okay, Karen. Okay, Karen. Ma, what you know what a Karen is. Someone is yelling at me right here. Someone's yelling at me in mm -hmm. the parking lot. They're screaming at me, and I'm shaking. And, they, and you're up at my window. If you're so scared, get in your car and go. Yes, because I'm in my vehicle, and she... I'm in my vehicle, and she is up in my window. Yeah, I'm right in Leesburg. I'm shaking. I feel threatened for my life. Oh, my God. I feel threatened for my life, Karen. I can't wait to show the police this video. Okay. 
Oh my god, TikTok's gonna love this. Lee's yelling and screaming at me right now. Where <laughs> it's right here in Leesburg. Mm hmm Because I'm blocked in. She's right here in her car. And when the police answer one of the people, we got what they mean by two. Dude, this lady is nuts. That's perfectly legal. She's calming down now that the police. No, I'm not. Because you're being a Karen. Oh, I'm scared for my life. I never once threatened you. You're at my window, so I can't wait for the police to come here. Hopefully they ticket you for a false Uh-huh. Karen. 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 I want to get my art painting. Why don't you put her on a leash? Like, come on. You know this is dumb. I can see it all over your face. You are so embarrassed of her right now. What is it? Can the police come out at 107 South Love? Please do. Please do. Still blocked in. This could have been over with five fucking minutes ago. I'm right by my own business. We own a business. Okay. <laughs> Even the dispatcher thinks you're dumb. <laughs> huh? It, listen. Hey, no, 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 no. I, I'll, listen, if you, you could have moved, you could have moved five minutes ago and I could have been gone instead of going back and forth. She came up to my window. She could have been, okay, and you guys could have moved, right? Well, hold on. No, I beat. You weren't even in the vehicle. This is not a parking space, right? Exactly. So what you're doing is illegal, not me. I can yell and tell you guys to move all I want. That is perfectly within my right. That is called freedom of speech, right? This happens if your neighbor's a Karen. I mean, this lady climbed over her neighbor's walls and even threatened them that she'll blow up the place because of a plant. Yes, you heard that right. Karen was so upset about her neighbor's plant that she wanted to fight them. And that, but you're trespassing. You're threatening me with a weapon climbing oh, a wall. Shit. Yeah, I have you. Anybody. I have you on camera, and oh, I have I'm you. I'm not threatening you. you, I'm you gonna go okay. Over and cut that. Is this your plant? Is this your property? No, it's not. It would be against the law for you to climb that wall and to cut these plants. I'm Okay, now you're threatening to blow up the goddamn place? I'm calling the cops, Diane. You goddamn bastard, good... son of a bitches! You too, Diane. Have a good day. I'm going to send this to the city and send this to the police department. Have a good evening. Good! Good. Have a good night. I'm going to have my camera set, so if anything happens, I'll know exactly who did it. I'm going to get a hold of that goddamn... I can't get a hold of entourage. They you know won't what? answer their phone. Diane, all you had to do was ask me for their number. I would have given I it have... to you. Then give me another Okay, I will, but what incentive answer. do I have to give it to you now that you've treated me like this? I have no incentive to give you any positive politeness at all, do I? You, you were nothing but rude and belligerent. Have a good day, ma'am. Oh, you son of a bitch! Yes, you too. Thank you. Imagine minding your own business while waiting for your order when a Karen started acting all rude towards the service crew. On top of that, she turned to the group of customers on the side and called them nasty names as well. Thankfully, the other part was pretty chill and didn't let her rain on their parade. I just worked 10 hours on my ship and you're gonna, you're gonna give me that foot? Holy puta! What time is it, Jenna? Yo! Yo! I don't fucking get over it because I'm telling you about all this shit. I'm starving. You guys can get all fucking day. I fucking work all fucking day. You know, give me fries. Nah, bro, give me more fries. Come on, I pay, I pay money. You know how expensive the world is? You know, you know how I know it. Then she started on us. Yours will be poison too. Yours will be poison too. Eh? <laughs> You're fucked. Go home, Karen. I'm not fucking What about fucking Karen to you? Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You are. 
You're viral right now. Coming up next, this Karen almost ran over this lady, but insisted she was going 29 kilometers an hour when she was obviously driving faster than that. When she was confronted about her behavior, well, she started screaming and didn't listen to anything that they say. So I told you, you think that I'm striking? You're going to go down to the police and say, she beat me about the face because she pointed at me. Do you take meds? Does she take meds? She's fine. She's staying calm. You're yelling. You're parked in the middle of the road. She won't. Let's she is speak. listening. My husband is home being very sick and I needed to make an I needed to make an errand and I needed to make it quickly. Then you will go if you're from Pomfret, you won't listen to me, I'm sure. I'm from Barner. If you're from Pomfret, you know damned well My family is from Pomfret. I don't give a shit if your great grandfather was Ethan Allen. Would you fing listen? No, my aunt's that uncle was Ethan Allen. Great great Really was. <laughs> she must really be a good friend because she's heard everything you said. No, no, she really she is. Did she ever shut up? She, you're the only one talking. No, she won't let me talk. She, I'm, I'm trying to talk. tell you about my husband and why I was doing what I was doing. Number one, that is my That's normal no speed. Reason to run over somebody. Your normal speed is way too fast. I think we should go to the hospital. Why? Because I ran over her. I do. I think. There? I, don't you think? Honey, I'm all right. She just road. said we ought to go. We're all right. She, she just I ran said you slow over. Down. You needed to slow down. And okay. you just said she you way overdid all honey, of this. You said you were driving fast because your husband. No, and I didn't say I was out. driving fast. You said I was driving fast. I was in a hurry. I didn't say I was driving fast. Fifty fast. I was dri- Fifty is way Fifty too fast. fast. I wasn't even. I was twenty nine miles an hour. I looked at my speedometer. Oh, you were. You actually. I you think, are a liar, and I will find you. I think you, you are a liar. I, I was think going. You sped up when you saw her because you're sick of tourists. I think that you're sick. I think you're sick. I was 29 miles an hour for the person who's standing there. It feels like 60. It was not. She wasn't standing there. She was but it, crossing you know what? The either road. way, either way, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. You guys all need to just relax. What does it you're really out matter? Of control. We didn't because sh- I don't like being accused of. First of all, she says I'm a liar for 29. I know what I was doing because you when she scared, got there, scared, I looked at my... It just my, scared her. It scared her. I, it just, scared, scared me it did. and it, it scared, scared her. her. It was 29 miles an hour. Right. I wouldn't... I, have, I haven't gone 50 miles an hour in 20 years but because it was I only... people who work for me and not going 50 miles an hour. I was going 29 miles an hour. She thought it was 60. But it's she all right. You I'm all right. You're all right. She thought that I hit your knees she and that you need to go to the hospital. She didn't say that. She said you hit my friend. She said you almost. She didn't say you hit me. And how close? I don't know. I, I, my back was to you. And, I, and that's why I was going and to you down. And then jump out of the way of the car. She moved very quickly out of the way. Yes. So, number one, my husband's ill. I needed to run an errand. Oh, there I'm are so tourists sorry. in the middle. There's all tourists all always the in the middle of the place. And everybody. But I don't outside. feel that I have to go ten. Uh, I do not feel I, I have to go ten. ten. I was twenty-nine. They're, if it's but they're safe. humans. No matter what the law says, you, you can drive. Can you know when the fall body. people are going. If somebody goes you ten around me, it. I think. I know, oh, but boy, in, no, 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 listen, listen in close. that area, in that area where you know yes, fall, I use, that, are, I use Galaxy Hill every day of my I life. I know you do, and, and I live in New England, I live in New Hampshire and Maine, Hill. and I know what you're talking about, it drives me crazy too, but, but I, know, I know they're there, I know. so I slow down, because I, I know. Shoot. The only time that I ever got angry with a driver in my life who was going about 60 down Joe Ranger was to stop and do this. He threatened to shoot and me. that's what I did no, to you. Because there was a fawn in the middle down. of the road. There was a fawn lying in the and middle of the road. there was a friend in the road. Yes, and, she, and you know what? And you would have run over. And you slow down, and you went by you me think. at the same speed. And you still haven't heard what I, on. my point of view. You I'll just tell your friend. I haven't heard I'm ready to go. I'm from Maine. After you jumped out of the road, and you're I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. This lady confronted this family for allegedly being a bad influence to her son. Well, this mom was not having it and revealed how Karen's son had been bullying her own. When Karen threatened them about talking to a lawyer, the other mom pointed out she was literally trespassing and she should leave. He's bullying my son. No, okay. My kids don't cuss. We serve God. Oh, really? Do you know how many times I've heard your son stand right there and cuss my kids out? No, that's not, that's not my child. That's Max. And I don't approve of that. The kids that are standing what right there you cussing my cat and it's not on Snapchat. No. They really, they took a baseball bat to my goal. So really, no, they did not. Off. Yes, they did too. You weren't even here. It was video. No. Yes. You were inside, so you wouldn't know. Yes, they did. They, he has been bullying my son forever. Here, 
Here's a kiss. Just call me a, I've you already filled out the bullying paperwork on your child. No, I have. No, I already have my my brother who is That's one. That's nice. No, That's what I'm who's a lawyer, the and I am suing y'all. I will sue y'all for harassment. Good. This is gonna stop. I his little game. to make sure he, your kid's not going to W. W. Lewis if he keeps going. So I'll take our restraint in order in a heartbeat. No, I know no, how to do no, the bullying I've policy. Talked, I've already you talked. I've already talked to him. You can go already. He's talking. Your son is a filthy mouth. Little boy. My your son is a filthy mouth. Now, and so is yours. No, he's not. Said, no, he's he has not. Just said, right. No, he's not. Said, he's not. He's gonna get a million views. He said he was in the driveway. No, he said he was in the driveway. Like Caleb, 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 come here, come here. Leave. He comes over. Leave. You need to raise your kids better. But look, she's on her property. Really? Look, she likes to lie about her kids. Really? Look, she likes to lie about her kids. Look, she likes to come to people's house without commission. Oh, yeah, because look at this thing. 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 Look at this thing